According to South Africa, 40 more countries are to join BRICS. Yes, this information is coming out newly. And South Africa, due to the, they have election at the corner, so they are to drop the chairmanship of BRICS, which is BRICS is now going to be led by Russia, which is Putin. You know, formerly Putin was was at UAE, and you know, last early this year, UAE, Saudi Arabia joined BRICS. Now, 40 more countries, including some African nations, will be welcomed, including Nigeria, Algeria, and many other African countries will be welcomed in BRICS. And they, are, they discuss more about their new currency to ditch the dollar. I will allow you to watch and hear for yourself or what's, what their new update on BRICS. The world is almost unrecognizable compared to 2018 when South Africa last held the rotating BRICS presidency. A global pandemic triggered health and economy crises in countries around the world, bringing a spike in global inflation and poverty. Wars erupted in the global south, the Middle East, Africa and Eurasia, strongly affecting the fortunes of the BRICS nations. Taking to the chair of BRICS this year, South Africa found its credentials called into question with suggestions that the country is not a rising power compared with the economic powerhouses that complete the BRICS lineup. So, in spite of it all, just how successful has South Africa been in delivering progress through its tenure in 2023? South Africa is highly satisfied in terms of the objectives and the priorities we have set for our chairship. We have achieved all of that, and I think we have actually achieved much more than we expected. And as you saw, the leaders announced the expansion of BRICS with six new members, and uh, I think that was a milestone in terms of, of uh, BRICS cooperation. We are a much bigger family, beginning of January, when the new members will become full members of, of BRICS. And now as Russia takes over the BRICS presidency for 2024, both the established nations and the latest additions to the BRICS fold say they stand shoulder to shoulder with Russia and are ready to usher in a new era of cooperation. The expansion provides fresh impetus to the group, lending it great legitimacy and reinforcing the sense that this is a club worth being part of. But what impact will the move have on the work of BRICS in 2024? We will do our best to make sure that by the time when Russia a year from now completes its year of uh, BRICS chairing, uh, everyone feel, finds it itself comfortable and BRICS at 10 or 11 is an even stronger and more attractive international force, international entity that delivers for the people, for the nations of countries that are united in this group that also make their voices more heard internationally, that strengthens multilateralism, that helps address acute issues that negatively affect societies. Russia is among those who want a better, a more uh, equitable, more inclusive international system that could be described as a true multilateralism. Russia has accepted chairmanship for the coming year with total commitment to driving BRICS cooperation forward. It has also signaled that developing nations with African countries will be a priority. So it seems like on the 1st of January 2024, the world's center of gravity is set to shift. Not of Yoko RT, Durban, South Africa.